Welcome everybody. We're making coconut vanilla vegan ice cream today. So what I've done is I've taken the vanilla beans, split them, warmed them with the full fat coconut milk and sugar. You could use pure coconut cream. I'm using full fat coconut milk. Either way is appropriate. Brought it to temperature, made sure the sugar is dissolved. Comes up to temperature, it's been well chilled, and now I'm straining it so the vanilla beans are coming out. And the base is going directly into the cylinder. Remember, you don't want to overfill because there will be some overrun, which is the addition of air. At this point, I'm going to put it in the machine with ice. I have the vanilla and uh, coconut ice cream paste here in the cylinder. I'm going to add the dasher. It has to be centered just so, so it can pivot. There's actually a little dimple on the bottom. The lid goes on, fits tightly, that's secured. And then this goes into the machine. Again, there's a dimple, it has to be centered just right over the top so it can spin freely. From here, I'm going to add the machine. Clamp that down, it's able to spin freely. From here, it's gonna get ice with ice cream salt in layers. Layer of ice, layer of salt, so on, all the way up to this bunghole. <laughs> right here. I'm gonna take the ice, fill it in around the machine. I'm gonna get a layer of ice and then a layer of salt. More ice. And again, another sprinkle of salt. Carry on until it fills up to this aperture right here. After which, we can start cranking. I am layering salt and ice, and then more salt all the way up to the top. You just wanna be very sure that you don't go past this hole because you don't want salt water coming over the lid down into the uh, cylinder. The reason we're adding the ice to the salt is because the salt reduces the freezing temperature of the ice. So from here, it's all about cranking. It's gonna take about 20 minutes to get this frozen. All right, everybody. It's been about 20 minutes of cranking. And uh, what happens is, it gets more resistance uh, to the turn. So you can tell physically by how much resistance it gives when it's ready. So I'm gonna pop this off. As you can see, the level of ice and salt never got high enough to go into the container. That's extremely important. So I'm gonna remove this. And what we have is soft serve. So I'm gonna remove this to a vessel. Can you all see that consistency? It's kind of a soft serve consistency. And what I'm going to do is pack this tight into a vessel with plastic wrap and a lid. Freeze that hard for service. And then I'll show you a photo of what the dessert looks like when it's done. Quick pro tip, 
the vanilla beans that we strained out of the coconut base can be rinsed and they can be reused. So if you have something like a high octane rum or even like a nice vodka, what you can do is simply give these a rinse and then the vanilla beans can go right into the alcohol. What you'll be left with is a very nice vanilla flavored vodka or eventually vanilla extract that you could use in your previous, uh, your next subsequent recipes. So that's a lot of fun. In a day or two, that'll turn the color of vanilla extract and it's usable and probably better quality than what you could find in the store. Thanks for joining me, everybody. I'll see you next time.